Hello there, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck here and see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Gemini, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we are starting here with the Seven of Swords. This is an interesting energy. It's a heavy energy. And I feel that some of you are carrying around some sort of weight, some sort of thoughts, something negative that is weighing down on you heavily. It's now time to release this energy, Gemini's. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this a little bit more. It's very interesting, this energy, the Seven of Wands. Page of Cups coming through for you as well. Now there's some sort of a message that's coming in, news or message, which is going to invoke some new emotions in you. I feel for a lot of you, there's going to be curiosity coming in, you exploring things that you've never experienced before. So get ready for this to come through. And this is from you releasing that Seven of Swords energy, Gemini. Okay, let's pull another card and see what else we get. Six of Swords. Look at all this sword energy. So you know what? You're coming to a place of peace and calm. And I feel you're going to experience this as soon as you work through that Seven of Swords energy, Gemini's. All right, so give me a moment. I'm going to take a look at all of these cards. Take a look at your spread and see what I'm getting here through my intuition. So there is some stress and worry in your lives, Gemini's, right now. Some of you are facing some sort of a hardship, some sort of a challenge, okay? This is what I am feeling with this energy. Some of you are having to defend yourselves. Um, there's some sort of a challenge ahead of you. Maybe there's somebody testing you. Maybe you feel like you are being challenged in some way. I feel this is around people for some of you. This could be past energies, the most recent past, right? Maybe something has happened in your life and you're in a situation where someone is kind of attacking you in some way. This is what I'm feeling like. Maybe there's a disagreement, argument, whatever this is. This energy does not feel nice, Gemini's. And spirit guides really want you to release this energy. If you're directly involved with someone that is kind of testing you in some way and you're actually involved deep into this they want you to sit down and resolve this immediately because whatever this is it's going to carry itself further into your future okay so they want you to release this energy like look at how heavy all of these swords are for some of you i feel that this is things that have happened to you from your past okay things people have said situations that you have been in that might have not been comfortable or good they might have been negative experiences um, through your childhood whatever this is you're carrying this around with you Gemini and now is the time for you to release these energies work through them I feel for some of you writing things down especially if people have hurt you or said negative things to you about say for example your physical appearance your abilities or the things that you're doing in your life right now Spirit guides want you to write a letter to that person, address them directly, and let them know how you felt. And of course, you don't have to give this letter to them. They're wanting you to burn it after you're done with it because you're releasing that energy. You're getting it outside of yourself. I also feel here that, um, what is this that I'm getting here right now coming through? Maybe you're in business right now, okay? So some of you might want to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to start a business, an online business, a storefront. There's something that you're kind of striving for here, Gemini's. And maybe you shared this with friends or family, and they're kind of giving you bad advice or telling you that maybe you're not capable of doing it or it's a bad idea. I feel that some of you have to release this energy and not focus on the criticism that other people have uh, with you and what you're kind of trying to do right now because it's putting this negative thought in your mind which is now weighing down on you and there's lots of different things here so different different things happening for a lot of you Gemini's out there okay and it's put a sour taste in your mouth and you're not feeling good about this so maybe there's a customer that came in some of you have a storefront business or someone has come in and said something that is negative didn't make you feel good and you're kind of carrying that around and it's affecting your day-to-day -day life these are all the things that spirit guides want you to release out of your lives right now gemini's because focusing in on this is going to keep you in this place and they want you to kind of 
take these criticism, take these things that people are saying with a grain of salt. So I experience this in my life. Sometimes people tell me that I'm on the wrong path, that I'm doing, I come from a business background. So, you know, tarot is not anything what I was doing. It's completely different. So there's some people that are inspired by me and then other people that think I'm doing the devil's work, right? And everybody has something to say, right? Sometimes we have people in our lives that only say negative things and we have to kind of brush them off with a grain of salt, and you have to focus in on what it is that you want to do and continue on that path because it aligns to you. It's something that you're passionate about. And who cares what anyone says? It's none of their business. I feel for a lot of you Geminis that you need to release this energy and kind of work in silence. Sometimes it's good not to share too much with people around you because sometimes we have people that might get jealous or they're going to project onto us or... You know, sometimes we have supportive people. I have many supportive people in my life right now that are really rooting for me, uplifting me as I'm walking down my journey. I feel for some of you, you have really good people in your life and the ones that aren't good that kind of put you down. It's time to release those people out of your life, your Geminis, not to listen to the things that they're saying or other people around you as well. I feel if you're wanting to do something, something that is aligned to you and you really uh, are passionate about it, you feel that there is um, real potential for success around it, then you should do it. And who gives a shit what anyone says? Okay, I feel for some of us, you know, when I've got a few friends that are scared to start stuff because they're worried about what people are going to think about them. There's those thoughts, right? What are people going to think about me? And it's swirling around in their minds. And it's like, who cares what they think? That has nothing to do with them. Work in silence. Don't tell anyone anything. Just do your thing. Rise above. And there you go. And they'll see you when you're at the top. Right. So I feel here anything that anyone said, any kind of situation that you've been through that is weighing down on you heavily here, Gemini's, it's time to release this energy out of your life. OK. Um, and not to carry it around. I feel also because of this, you're not realizing your full potential. You're not able to open up and release this and be that version of yourself that you're meant to be. It's really putting this heavy weight on you where you're not able to really rise. So as soon as you release this energy, you're not only going to feel lighter, but you're going to feel a lot more freer. Okay. So this is coming through here for some of you. Um, what else am I getting here with the page of cups energy? So this woman is holding a, a cup, a golden cup. Um, and what I'm getting here with this golden cup is there's some sort of a message or news coming around your that is going to kind of touch you in some way here, Gemini. As soon as you release this energy, you're going to be opening yourself up to a lot of new uh, things that are coming through into your life. Because when you're carrying this around, so let me just go back to this card here. I'm sorry. This creates a blockage almost. It's like you're carrying so much, you don't allow new new energy to come through, right? You're not able to carry anymore. So this is the other reason spirit guides want, want you to release this energy, Gemini's, is because they're trying to bless you with new things that are coming in. Lots of new possibilities, lots of lots of different things, right? So as soon as you release this, entry comes in of some sort of news or message. And whatever this is, this is going to make you very happy, Gemini. You're going to be on top of the world here. I feel for some of you, you're going to explore something new, something you've never experienced before. And this is through this message coming in of an opportunity or something that is going to invoke this motion in you where you hear about this news, someone offers you something and you're like, oh my God, I've never even thought of that or I've never tried this before and spirit guides want you to try it. Be curious, explore the possibilities because whatever is coming in, it's meant to come in and you're meant to explore it. All right. And don't be so guarded. I feel this. This is also a guard up. Some of you are because you're feeling challenged. You're putting up guards because of all the things that have happened in your life previously where you're kind of like, I've already done this before and I know what kind of person this is and I'm not going to allow these energies to come into my life. But spirit guides don't want you to block everything out. OK, you want to be open and receptive to some of the good things that are coming into your life here. Um, so embrace whatever this is it's coming in i also feel for some of you you're going to learn something new there's something creative coming into your life where you're going to explore the possibilities of what you are doing in a creative way 
So picking up new skills. So maybe a friend's going to come in and say, hey, Gemini, I because you're doing this, I found this way of doing something or they're going to teach you a quicker way of doing something which is going to kind of um, not only make your life and your position efficient but also bring in like this feeling of smoothness I don't know why I'm getting the word smoothness coming through but the smooth feeling like coasting smoothly through whatever it is that you're doing right now I feel for a lot of you you're embarking on your own journeys you are kind of leaving the workplace you're wanting to explore and see what the possibilities are if you were to kind of flow freely through life doing you know your own thing making money your own way and spirit guides are wanting some of you to really delve into learning more about the di digital realm because there's a lot coming through here, especially with us being online. I'm seeing uh, lots of strings of uh, revenue coming in here for you, Gemini. So maybe this is what that new experience is, that you're really tapping into something different that you're not used to. And maybe someone has suggested something to you or brought news in, even in your workplace, that, hey, we're switching things up a little bit and going digital. So everybody in the company has to learn how to... Um, do things a little bit differently embrace this energy embrace this don't be afraid of change and don't be afraid to learn here gemini's because this is basically leveling you up okay and anytime a company brings an offer in to teach you something new especially if it's covered through the company always take them up on this offer because you're you're also leveling up your self-worth okay so when you're applying for other jobs now you have something extra you can add that is going to kind of level you up in your world. And if any any of your you are working right now where your company offers free courses for you to take in order to enhance and level you up, jump on those. I used to do this all the time. Anytime there was some sort of a management course or anything like that, I'd take it and then I'd get promoted. So these are the kinds of things that Spirit Guides really want you to focus in on because there is something coming in that is going to have you explore things in your life that you haven't done before. Learning new skills, building up on your skill sets, mastering what you already know, but leveling up in that area. So whatever these are, know there's a lot of possibilities available to you, Geminis, okay? And really exploring and being curious around what it is that you want to do. Experience more of that. Try different things, especially if you're in a place right now and you're trying to make a decision on what it is that you want to do with your life. What is it? Okay, so for example, if you want to start a YouTube channel, I have lots of friends that are coming to me like, I want to do a YouTube channel, but I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I have the time for it, like all these different things. And it's gaining clarity and doing different things to figure out what that is that you want to do and the way to figure it out is by trying it like see what works for you and being curious tapping into that inner child right and exploring a little bit more being curious experiencing new things and just just doing rather than thinking too much about it right and we've got the six of wands coming through. So as you're going through this process, I feel for a lot of you, you're going to come to this place where you're flowing through a very peaceful place in your life. And this is, look at how long of a stretch this is. So coming into this new place, learning some new things, being curious, you're going to start feeling a lot more calmer and at peace especially once you release whatever this is right you're going to feel a sense of calm and peace as you're flowing through your life i feel for some of you you're going to be at, you're going to come to a place of peace with all your thoughts all the things that people have done to you because you're working towards that and and that's where it is where you finally settle in with that version of yourself where you have accepted everything all the things that have happened you're like okay I went through that. That was my life experience. I was meant to go through those because I was meant to come through that, learning some lessons, gaining some superpowers. And now I'm in this place where I am content. I am happy. And now life starts to flow very easily. Um, this is a slow flow, steady flow, but it's a flow of growth. So I feel for some of you, you're coming to this place here very, very soon, if you already haven't, where you're at peace with yourself, at peace with all the things that have happened in your life. And you're like, okay, I'm good. You know, I'm in this place. I'm starting to shift my life. I'm starting to pick up some new skill sets. I'm learning and taking knowledge in and really enhancing myself and leveling up in my world. And this is where 
you're going to find that balance in your life. I feel for some of you, you have this chaotic energy around you, right? Whatever this is. And I feel for some of you, maybe somebody's creating this in your life, right? You need to let go and release those people. I feel balancing, coming to this place of calm, peace and harmony is you releasing some of the people in your lives that are of negative influence or people that are kind of put a damper in your day or are constant uh, energy vampires, right? And finding a, a nice flow and rhythm to your life. This is what it's all about. And Spirit Guides really want some of you Geminis to incorporate meditation in your day-to-day -day routine. In the morning, if you can, because it brings you to a place of calm, a place of being grounded and stable. And that way your day flows very nicely. It's kind of like you know exactly what is going to happen. Yes, if there's a little bit of turbulent energy or any kind of challenge or something that comes your way you're able to handle it in a more calmer way right so incorporate some meditations into your day-to-day -day routine in the morning spirit guides also want you to kind of have a nightly ritual here gemini's around water they're saying water because this is where that peace comes in so they're wanting me to suggest what i use what my nightly ritual is and i take a shower at night and when the reason why i take a shower at night is because i'm able to meditate in the water and as the water is flowing down my body that's me visualizing all the things that i went through good or bad washing them away and really cleansing myself from those energies because then i come to a place of peace and calm and i'm able to sleep better so i feel for some of you if especially if you're suffering from sleep problems or having trouble sleeping this is going to help you to incorporate meditation in your day like morning routine and then use water at night to shower or even soak in a tub full of mineral salt and kind of cleanse yourself from those energies from the day okay so let me see what else is coming through here All right, so maybe there's a friend or someone that's going to come in and support you in some way as you're going through this turbulent energy. And I'm seeing something here in the background of this. So what I want you to know here, Geminis, is that spirit guides are trying to connect with you. This is what this light is. And they're really letting you know that they're they're actually supporting you right now, that you have support, support through your spiritual team, okay? You're seeing signs from the universe, whether it's animals, whether it's synchronicities in numbers, like angel numbers, or you're resonating with some of some song where the words or the lyrics, you're, you're resonating with them and, and they're kind of touching you in some way. This is spirit guides trying to connect with you, even through lights. If you're seeing or experiencing flickering lights around you, this is spirit realm trying to connect with you to let you know that things are going to be okay. And when you're going about your day and you see something um, like a flickering light, we'll just use that as, as an example, in that moment that you're sitting and doing something, you need to be in that present moment when that happens to see where you are, what is happening. Are you stressed? Are you happy? Because spirit guides are trying to connect and give you a message. So all you do is pull up Google, search the spiritual meaning for that, and you're going to get your answer. That's the best way. And lo there's lots of different versions of, say, for example, angel numbers online. So I'm going to try to create an angel number deck for everybody. This will take a couple of months, a few months actually, but I'm going to try to work towards doing that for everyone. And I'll, I'll use that on my channel, right? So I'm going to pull an angel number for you today as well. So whatever you're working, uh, whatever hardships or any troubles, or if you're feeling challenged, or if you're in a competition, you could literally be in a competition here and know that you're going to come to a place where you're going to win the prize here as well. So there's news coming in around that. So I just wanted to mention that for you. And know that life is going to flow easy and calm for you here, Gemini. So get ready for this energy. I'm now going to pull an angel card, or sorry, an animal spirit card for you. So some of you have been experiencing animals around you. Some of these animals bring in beautiful messages that we're meant to hear. And you know, when spirit guides and the universe are trying to connect with you here, Geminis, they use Mother Earth. They use the universe and bring things in because they're trying to get our attention. And if you're seeing, say, an eagle, a butterfly, a ladybug, um, a heron, whatever it is that you're seeing, even a dog, there's a message coming through from spirit for you. Okay, so let's pull a card and see what we get here. 
Wow, unicorn. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if you've seen a unicorn. This could be a horse. And look at this. There's butterflies there. This is like a magical creature. If you've seen one in your dream, if you've recently seen one on TV, maybe you have a young child, a grandchild who was watching something with unicorns on TV, uh, an image somewhere. This is your confirmation. And you, if you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. So let me read this to you, Gemini. So infinite possibilities, look at that. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds, Geminis. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to spirits of light. We're talking about the flickering lights. Abandon the darkness, which is this, the darkness, right? Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. And I really feel that's where, where you're heading. This is that peace, harmony, and balance. And look at this at the very end. There's this beautiful light. That's that le legendary place for you, Geminis. Okay, so own that power. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel card for you, Gemini, and see what we get here. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. I just had one fall out. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. And I am getting 222. Two, two. I am balanced. Look at that. Everything is aligning for you here. All right, so let me read this to you. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. So if you've been seeing two two twos, this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are balanced. So own that superpower. And sometimes, you know, when we're going through our hardships, when we're going through these kind of turbulent energies, uh, being challenged, that lesson that we're learning also is coming out as a superpower. So maybe this is going to lead you to that place where you finally figure out how to balance your life. Take that organ take that chaos and really structure it. So there you have it, my friends. I hope this reading resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.